This door right here, believe it or not, cost $850,000 to put in. Girls and boys. Get on out, sweetie. Welcome to my jet. Come aboard. Welcome to 10X Airlines. Hey, let me show you around, all right? Let me show you around. This is Sabrina, my wife, Elena. We're oh, rolling up. Lord. We're rolling up today to look at a big ranch up in Virginia, uh, just south of CIA headquarters. Ooh. So this is a 13-passenger Gulfstream 550. It'll do 16 hours non nonstop. Uh, it retails for about $61 million, uh, brand new. And uh, it's fantastic, fantastic piece of equipment. It has serviced us. Here, sit down right here. I'm gonna show them something. Like, like it's got crazy little stuff in it like this. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me, let me show you this. You wanna see this? Uh, you guys that are watching Undercover Billionaire on Discovery Channel, January 6th. It's got its own little wine, what? Wine cellar. Wine, wine cellar, wine. okay. We don't drink a lot, but I do keep, I think this is some 1942 tequila. No, this is some Grey Goose in here. Um, we got some vino. We got some tequila, tequila. Even though we don't drink much, do we? No, we huh? don't. In fact, you never drink. I don't ever drink. Um, I mean, let's face it, Mama doesn't drink. No, Mama doesn't. Sometimes I'll have a drink to celebrate a deal. But that's about it. So this is a credenza for whatever it's worth probably cost 300 grand. I mean, it's crazy. When you start putting stuff on a jet, it's bizarre. Like this door was not in here. Elena wanted it. She wanted to separate the cabin so I could come back here and sleep. It actually wasn't for her, it was for me. And to put this door in electrically, bye-bye. In one minute I'm there, one minute I'm not, right? So one minute I'm Grant Cardone, the next minute I'm some dude dropped off in some city trying to hustle to a million dollar business. This door right here, believe it or not, costs $850,000 to put in. Insane. So the carpet, we put this carpet in. There was old, uh, there was carpet in this plane. We didn't like it, we put new carpet in. Hey, Ryan, what does carpet in the Gulf Stream cost, Ryan, to put in? Seco, Ryan. Captain Ryan. What does what new carpet in a plane cost? Uh, a little under 100. Huh? 100 grand. Paint job? 350. Dude, I remember, check it out. I remember, I remember when I could not afford to fix a ding on my 1974 Maverick. That car was $500 used. It was beat up, air condition didn't work, heater didn't work. I literally could not paint the car. I did not have enough money to paint the car. The paint job on this plane is $350,000. The credenza is uh, 300 grand. The, the, the carpets are 150,000. The doors, 800. Just to take the wood out, if we were to take the wood out, because I don't like the dark, closed-in wood, you know, uh, 10 years ago, all they used in these planes was really dark, heavy wood. Um, probably cost a million dollars to replace the wood. Take all the wood out of the plane, put in a new wood, new color. I mean, they have to varnish this. They varnish this down. This is new wood. They, buy, they get a new wood, varnish it, sand it, paint it take probably six weeks to get this, just to take the wood out, put new wood in the plane. Um, so, you know, I know, I know, I know I'm bragging about this stuff, but I, I, I wish somebody would have told me 
what this stuff costs so I could start thinking with, hey, what does it take to build a business, grow a business, have a business? What does it cost to take your kids with you everywhere you go around the world? We, we did 19 countries last year. Come on back, come on back. This is the toilet. No shower on this plane. I know some guys have showers. This plane isn't big enough for that. This is about 125 cubic square feet of storage. This is where the bed goes. We got books back here. Uh, uh. We store supplies so that when we're going to do an event in Singapore, we can bring a couple thousand books. A uh, millionaire booklet, how to make a million dollar dog, how to make a million dollar. Hey, by the way, if you want one of these, just go to grantcardone.com forward slash free books. I'll send it to you for free. This book is in 38 different languages. How to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. Dude, that's what I was doing on Undercover Billionaire. I was like, man, how, I'm going to go to zero. We got, we got four closets on the plane. We're going to Virginia to look at a ranch, so I'll wear this to keep myself warm. You might, you might recognize this jacket. You know, you never know when you're gonna need some 10X in your life. But it's beautiful. You're like, why would you, why would a guy spend, you know, that much money on a plane? You could do, do you could do so many better things with your money. So people are starving on this planet. Businesses going out of business. Why would a guy spend so much money on one plane? Well, good question. It's a real good question. You want to close that? Chair? I use this plane. Elena, can you give me the little, the little, because I'm going to show them the GP, the, the the auto system in the plane where I can close everything down. Um, I've used this plane to raise $100 million for charity, to buy $2 billion worth of real estate. We visited 19 countries last year, 19 countries. I could not do that. I mean, I could do it on a commercial airlines, but it'd be almost impossible. Uh, so like, this isn't just something you use to show off. Either one of them open yet? This is something we use to do business. Our business is blown up as a result of making this purchase. Uh, Cardone Enterprises will do probably $150 million in gross sales this year. That's more than some tech companies ever make. I'm talking about make. Um, so what this device is right here, this device allows me to control the entire cabin from right here, watch. All the shades are going down, see the shades? They're all popping down all the way around the cabin so that when we're ready to go to sleep, if I wanna wake that place up, now I'm gonna wake it up. Is that cool or what? And here we go, here we go again. The media, the media runs air control so that I can open up and see where we're going. Welcome to Carter. We're in Miami right now. Can you see this little, little piece right here? We're in Miami. Uh, it tells us where we're going. Notice I had the logo of the plane put in, so you're fo actually following this plane. That's the old paint job. I got to change this. We're dropping to Charlottesville, Virginia today. We're going to go look at a ranch. 4,500 acre ranch, $75 million. A Bell 505, Ranger 505 is gonna pick us up. Pop us in 15 minutes. We'll spend the night there. They're showing us the ranch. We're looking at it as a retreat place for our clients and our investors. And then we're gonna pop up to uh, Trenton, New Jersey, take delivery on a new piece of equipment. Can't tell you what it is, but it is spectacular. You'll see it later in the year. 
and uh, then we'll bounce back to Miami. We'll look at two pieces of real estate between the ne in the next 24 hours, and being back be back in uh, um, Miami tomorrow to announce to make a big announcement yeah. about Undercover Billionaire. January 6, Undercover Billionaire. Discovery Channel. Elena's got another show coming out next year. Okay, we got all kind of great stuff going on right now. See, I wanted to put my logo on. Welcome to 10X Airlines. Serena, can you do the announcement for 10X Airlines? This is Serena Cardell speaking. I hope you enjoy your flight here on 10X Airlines today. And remember, kids are allowed to do whatever they want to do. <laughs> Uh, we love everybody that's watching the show. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. My wife, Elena, and I are here to help you. Anything we can do to make your life better, to be an example for you, to be an example of what is possible. Look, we all grew up, except she didn't, but the two of us grew up in Louisiana. We didn't, we didn't come from any money. We didn't have any money. I never, I wasn't on a private jet until I was 51, 52 years old. And I worked really hard my whole life saved my money, stored it, made great investments with my money, continue to invest in our business and in our own self-improvement so we can think bigger, do bigger things, and dream bigger, and get around bigger deals. And when Discovery came to me in January of this year, 2020, and said, hey, would you be willing to do this undercover challenge? Can't use your name, can't use your money, can't use your contacts. You'll have no food, no water, no shelter the first couple of weeks. You got to hustle it yourself. They said, could you do it? Would you do it? I went to her and said, you think I could do it? She's like, oh, I know you could do it. And you're going to do it. And because She's like, you can, you must, you should. So, so. Uh, and you made us very proud. And I went too. there, I went there, and it was the hardest thing I ever did. So tune in January 6th, tune Undercover in. Billionaire. you going to be the best. You're, I'm going to look different. I'm going to look different. You're going to see me weeping. You're going to see me crying. You're going to see me break down. You're going to see me suffering. All you guys out there that don't like me, man, you guys don't like people that do well. Boy, you need to watch this show because you're going to watch me suffer for weeks and weeks. Maybe a month you're going to watch me suffer, but then you're going to watch me make the, the clicky wicky. You're going to watch me make the tricky <laughs> tricky. You're gonna, I'm going to show you how to go from nothing and put it all back together again. By the way, would you do that? Would you bet a million dollars on yourself? Wow. Would you lose everything just to prove to the world you can get it all back again? I did. I did. That's I did. Courageous courage and strategy. Right there, With right. courage and strategy, okay? Because you guys got to get off the plane now. I got to go. I got to go. Let's roll, guys. I got to go. Get off the plane. Come on. Okay? Next time you roll with me, we partner. <laughs>